Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason and this is a free hypnosis session just for you. And in this session I'm going to be focusing on uh, an opportunity that you can have to change how you feel in the moment in the event of disappointment. So for example, if someone does something or there's an event that you wanted to go to, a concert, a movie, whatever, and it was cancelled for whatever reason and there's that reaction that you have of disappointment. So basically this is a similar technique to things I've used before it's really a very, very basic thing of mixing two things together, which results in something else. So, with hypnosis, a lot of the techniques and ideas can be the same as colours. You mix two colours together, it results in a completely different colour. Um, I'm trying to think of a two, I'm not very good with <laughs> colours and what they make, but for example, um, so black and white makes grey, I think, or we shouldn't leave a black nor white. Um, I can't think of any, any different colours, unless I'm not into all art and stuff, but this is perhaps not the best example, but it is a really good example because the colours mixed do make a different colour. Sounds mixed make a different sound. That string, you push your finger on one part of the string and it makes a different sound. It's still the same string. So all you've done is just changed a part of it. You've changed a small part. It can be the big difference if someone has got problems with their hip um, and maybe they've got pain, literally just by moving like that. That can be the dif difference between them being in pain and then feeling comfortable. Sometimes it really is that simple. And I find that with hypnosis and with the mind and with thinking about things, it also is that easy. It's the simple stuff. It's the easy stuff, it's the, the basic changes, the small changes that really do make a difference. So, this is something where we're talking about disappointment. And just to let you know, um, only ever watch or listen to my hypnosis sessions or any hypnosis sessions when you can safely close your eyes. Um, although you don't have to close your eyes to uh, watch the videos, um, I only ever watch them when it's safe for you to close your eyes, just in case you do, so you know, never drive or use machinery when you're doing this, or fly planes or anything like that. Okay, so um, if you're flying a, a rocket into space, turn this off and concentrate if you're on the way to Mars or something like that. So. I, or if you're a surgeon, turn this off and carry on with the operation. So, um, I could go on, but I won't. So, basically, with this one, this is a mixing of emotions, a mixing of feelings, and it can be used in so many different ways. I could literally do a hundred of these, one, one after another, for different feelings. And I suppose the idea of this is I can guide you, but then you kind of start getting an idea of it, start to realise that actually you can have more control over how you react. In fact, you can get to the point where you don't just react like an animal like a chemical 
although we are, I guess, animals made of chemicals, you can respond. That's the benefit of having a brain and having consciousness and having awareness. We can react. We're not just responders. And with this idea, what you can do is basically in the event of feeling disappointed in something, you can mix it with a different emotion and notice how it changes. So I'll give you an example. Um, think about something that was disappointing for you maybe in the last, I don't know, the last week, maybe a month. Something maybe, you know, today maybe, something that the disappointment led to a feeling which wasn't very pleasant. Okay? And um, maybe a disappointment in this video maybe, that I haven't got longer hair. I mean, it could be anything. Um, so you got that feeling. Now I want you to think about something completely different. I want you to think about someone that you really care about. But a small child, maybe the first time you saw your own child, or a happy memory only, um, maybe a grandchild, maybe uh, a niece or a nephew, maybe just a child that you saw in a supermarket that was eating a big lollipop and it's made you smile, because that's, that child had the happiest expression you've ever seen. I saw that once, saw a little girl and she had this huge lollipop and she literally looked as happy as anybody I've ever seen in my life. Happiest smile on her face, most contented. It's like, wow, I wanted that lollipop. Obviously I didn't take it off her because she probably would have cried, but um, you know, so something that made you feel good inside, because that made me feel good. It's like, wow, that feels lovely. It's like this young little kid, happy. Let's face it, if, if there was more happy people, more people genuinely feeling good and healthy, and life would be easier for all of us. So just think of that small child that you're thinking about. Notice how you feel when you think of that child. And all I want you to do is basically... Hold one in each hand. So you got one, it can be either hand, doesn't matter, left or right. I would say your dominant hand, whether it's your right, the one you use the most, put the nice feelings, put the child, the memory of the child in that hand. I'm right handed generally, um, apart from when I carry heavy stuff and I use my left arm. I think I'll probably wore my right hand out, I don't know. Um, and put in on your left hand the thing that has disappointed you. Just in your mind, just have imagined they're both there. Maybe give them a colour each. And all you do now is just slowly allow your hands to go together. And as they move together, you can feel different. You can feel the energy between your hands. And maybe face your hands together and just allow them to move closer. And you can actually feel the energy between them. It's like at one point you're not sure if they're being pushed away from each other or they're being attracted to each other. Now just allow them to come together gently, calmly and relaxing. And just relax your hands. And notice how that feels. As you think back about that thing that used to disappoint you and notice how it's changed. I actually got a feeling in my, in my chest of comfort and calmness. And uh, please let me know what you thought of the video and how you got on with it. See you next time. Bye.